all right guys welcome to part 21 it is a long-awaited comeback of the series thank you guys so much for the recent support but let's get right into the video we then see the frozen monster use ice whirlwind and of course our boy summon the general rank literally blocks it all with his wings and our mc says the same skill won't work on me you piece of trash um he didn't say that but i'ma call him a piece of trash anyway we then see Linmo use summons going to attack the Frost King. However, he uses Sky Flood and all of them are literally washed away like it is a tsunami. And we literally see how large this attack is. The water just keeps on flowing like a river. However, our Genova Rank Beast has, oh my gosh, he has the red eyes. It seems like he has gone Berserk Mode and everybody else is in Berserk Mode as well. We then see a ray of red light coming to the sky. And wow, guys, this dude just one-shotted the Water Elemental General and got 1.5. 4 a million xp and of course he summons him back in our mc uses evocation and it seems like he did manage to get the corpse or the soul he then begins to pick up the crystals as of course he wonders to himself that it only takes three minutes and he wonders if it is still enough time for him to kill ordinary bosses ning yi scratches her head saying the level of chaos in the elements seem to have been eased a bit and yep it's going to be way easier to breathe right now but i think our lin mo yu is probably the one that is causing that type of atmosphere we then see them in the snow plane right here, and it seems like they're headed towards a large volcano site. And Ning Yi thanks Lin Mo Yu for his skeleton armor, because of course you would have been taking continuous damage, like obviously because you're going to get burned by the lava. Anyway, our MC mentions, what type of wind or lightning world will there be as we continue walking? And he then spots a volcano. However, Ning Yi says that is not a volcano, bro. That's a concentration of fire. And oh my gosh, we see eyes come out of it. And this is a fire elemental general which is of the secret realm but what the heck is level 37 but it has zero strength and agility and 20,000 spirit only wait wait this guy is pretty weak but our mc mentions that he can't use physical attacks because this monster cannot move he then brings out his summons as he says i know what to do now and we see the volcano begins to erupt of some sort and our mc mentions it is similar to the flood attack from earlier we see a skeletons literally getting burnt however our mc uses ice storm oh my gosh he launches the attack however it seems like this volcano dude makes the volcano or the ground literally shake and he uses hell explosion and rmc mentions this is probably its last attack out of desperation we then see all of these things going around as well as the ice storm this is absolute chaos and he tells ning yi yi i want to let you see these fireworks and oh my gosh he kills a fire elemental and our bro just got the maximum riz of all time and he also obtains 1.48 million xp she then says i didn't think you'd know how to flirt and oh crap she's getting succumbed under our boy's riz effect but her mc says um uh, that's not what i wanted to do anyway outside of the portal is a country h party and they say boss i can't believe it we found it he says after years for searching for the secret realm we have finally found it however the guy the left mentions they said it was full of elemental spirits why isn't there anything here the guy mentions i can't believe somebody beat us to it and yeah don't try to go against our mc this guy then pulls down his mask and he has a red eye our bro really thinks he got the sharingan or something he says this is good it'll be easier for them to lead the way and we can take all of their stuff and yeah you're not taking their stuff bro you're gonna get wrecked and even have the audacity to even give our boy and girl a warning anyway they then enter the dungeon and we hear boss all we have to do is just kill the last boss and the dude says that's a good idea and they begin to walk and they see the footprints and they're literally golden i don't know if it's melted snow but they see it they sense the aura i'm guessing and this dude with the mask says come on i have found them well, our boy lin mo yu is walking with the skeletons behind him and ning yi beside him and we see a huge explosion and yes it is a lightning wind general this is actually pretty cool because it's a lightning and wind i thought lightning and wind would be separate but anyway we then see its strength is zero again like oh my gosh they're just hiding their strength but lin mo yu begins to sweat saying he has two elements and this might be a problem our mc then gets struck by lightning but it doesn't even work and so he uses slow curse on the general and it goes up to the sky however all his summons get struck by lightning he then uses flame burst and ice storm to try and combat this tornado and he mentions the flying ones really are the most annoying we then see a huge ruckus begin to happen however we then manage to get that being onto the ground and he kills it easily guys our mc is too op bro like somebody call sung jin woo he needs to fight this guy anyway he gets 1.52 million xp and he also obtains a lightning elemental and a wind elemental 
elemental crystal, sorry guys. Anyway, he then begins to suck it up, hold up, and the last one is the queen. This is definitely going to be the strongest, and he says with the elemental planes around, these bosses will reappear once again, and they begin to walk in the desert, and look at this aurora borealis, this is really a nice panel. We then see there are floating rocks they need to step on to get into this castle, however the queen is inside, and she is the leader of the secret realm, and oh gosh, level 39, and she definitely has some OP strengths. He then goes to attack her, but he mentions, really, she's so resistant to physical and elemental attacks as well. And come on guys, this is a queen, like, you know, in chess, she's definitely OP. We then see she uses elemental starburst, and three of his skeletons have been annihilated in the blink of an eye. Our MC mentions that the skeletons are becoming weak because of all the battles they've been in, and so this is going to be very difficult. She then has four arms, and she begins to cook up some Rasengans, even one using her mouth. And she uses elemental attack, and wow, this queen is OP and she just obliterates five of his skeletons and our MC sweats saying five of them have been eliminated this is as expected from the queen of the secret realm however our MC is not done yet but then the queen is not done yet because she uses elemental starburst again and this is on a whole different level and we see all of his skeletons literally get destroyed and 11 get killed out this time and our MC still has his hand is in his pocket come on guys he always does and he says why did lord bai give me this task come on bro stop holding back he says since the start of the battle, it has not even moved, and the slow curse is probably not effective either. And yes guys, the only way he's gonna be beating this person is by bringing out the big and chunky general. He says, yep, it looks like the elemental queen is a boss that requires some tactics to actually be defeated. As he plays with his hair, this dude really getting cocky. <laughs> anyway, he says, I was a bit reckless, and so, I know what to do now. We then see it is a country H team again, and he mentions that boss, they're fighting. And this girl with a blindfold, this girl is not Gojo girl, like what are you trying to do? Anyway, the guy beside her mentions, let's go and kill them together, and yeah, you'll do that in your dreams. He then tells the lady to use her skill as she has her wand out and she begins to chant and I'm sensing that this is some sort of unique special realm power. However, Ningyi's assassin instinct notices them from behind and she says, Linmo, you watch out, there is an ambush. We then see these meteors, these little meteors come towards our MC and Ningyi Yi and one of them even begins to use Armageddon using his white staff. But our MC smiles, saying good timing and I know our MC is definitely going to use these people for his own good. And by own good, I'm, I'm just gonna say guys, it's probably a sacrifice. Anyway, we then see Lin Mo Yu and Ning Yi Yi with their skeleton armor, and we see a skeleton summons begin to charge towards these country H pieces of trash. The leader says, where did they get all these undead creatures from? He says, does the elemental queen have minions or something? No bro, you just ran into the MC and that's the worst fate you could have had. We then see they begin to get bound by the slow curse, and our MC says, of course, while he's using the slow curse, they may be able to get out of this curse. However, it's time to deal with the healer first. Hey, that kind of rhymed. Anyway, our MC's mages begin to attack the healer and rest in peace to this dude. Kaboom, it is a new firework. And the boss looks back like, oh crap. And yeah, that healer just got absolutely wrecked. He then uses group provocation and group chain. And the boss is about to sip on something. And oh gosh, please don't tell me. It seems like they drank the potion to lift their curse, and they thought it was some sort of berserker serum. And oh, uh, thankfully it's not that. Anyway, we hear group protection, and Ningyi mentions that they're all level 40, and the knight's group protection, group chain, and the mage sneak attack with meteorite fire are all level 40 skills that are being used after second evolution. And so they're not bound by the anti-curse because, or sorry, they're not bound by the curse because they have the anti-curse, and he says, is this really how strong a second evolution professional is? He says, under the circumstances of being able to use props, level 40 skills are really strong and it seems like I might have underestimated them. However, our MC smirks and says, but so what, if it wasn't for the skeleton armor, I'm afraid Yi Yi and I would have been in a very dangerous, dangerous situation. And he says, you know what, just kill them all, as he sends all of his skeletons and rest in peace to these guys, and they have a little barrier up, but let's be honest, it's not gonna help them at all. And yup, they have that look of, oh crap, this is the moment I knew I messed up. They mentions, boss, what's wrong with these summons? Why can't they be killed? What should we do? And the boss is sweating with his fake Sharingan, and he says, I didn't realize he was so strong, he was able to keep us in check while dealing with the elemental queen. He says there's no choice to retreat, but to retreat, sorry, as we see a figure of them. Oh my gosh, this is definitely what you don't want to see, is the MC and his waifu looking at you like this, and her MC uses 
soul flame and he then burns one of their comrades and kaboom he gets sent flying and yes he gets absolutely obliterated and everybody begins to run as they left this guy he then oh gosh it's actually the boss and so the boss pops a potion like he's popping some drugs and don't do drugs guys but anyway right behind him is a skeleton that slashes him however the boss begins to run away out of absolute fear and Lin Mo Yu says don't worry the knights are on max defense and they're a bit hard to eliminate so we have more important things to do here as we are looking at the queen with her oh wow is this her magic circle it looks very beautiful and yes this is going to be the day where she gets wrecked we then see she uses elemental blast once more can you think of a more unique name like elemental blast come on name it like the 13 heavens of the lucius agusis dragon fourth the third attack or something like that anyway he then throws one of the corpses of the knights at her and he uses corpse explosion and he does it a bit more and we see huge fire flames just circling around her and yes he says the damage is really good and the level 40 corpses have done their part and yes it seems like she has turned to stone sadly or happily i mean Honestly, this is kind of sad, guys. You know, the queen didn't... I mean, I'm guessing the queen was evil, but let's just think of Lin Mo Yu. And yep, Lin Mo Yu has a weird face on. Who would have expected it? He says, let's go and let's finally eliminate it. However, the queen wakes up yelling and she absolutely wreck his skeletons as they're being destroyed here. But it is no use as we see things get pierced right through her. And he has gained 2.34 million XP. He gains five elemental crystals. And yes, one of the materials that he got is able to of course make a cooldown talisman and we see the queen soul here it has turned purple because she was evil and this is kind of sad but i guess our lin mo yu always wins his fights he then says i've got the elemental crystals let's get the heck out of here and they begin to walk away but our mc begins to ponder on how his skeletons are heavily injured and he needs to return them to the summoning space we are now seeing the battlefield and yep they're close to the next one they're at the third battlefield right now and ning yi seems kind of annoyed by the air there because it seems kind of poisonous and red and it probably doesn't smell good and yep we see some abyss monsters right here they have red eyes and i'm guessing that these are bloodlusted and he kills them easily they are level 35 and he obtains some pretty good items he says well actually it's better to find abyss demons to kill because these monsters give too little of merit which he is after ning yi begins to fight them as well mentioning these guys hide even deeper than mice However, we find a distress signal blow up in the sky, and so they dash towards it, and Lin Mo Yu says, come on, let's go, because it's not too far away. Ning Yi says that something's weird, that, because all the monsters are gone, and we hear a voice of a demon, and Ning Yi is definitely surprised, saying, what the heck, this might have been a trap, and it seems like the devourers have been summoned away by a demon. We then see Ning Yi absolutely furious and angry, and our boy Lin Mo Yu just has a straight face, but anyway, they begin to charge towards the location. They then arrive here and we see people trying to fend off these demons as we see a lot of them. He says break out with me. However, oh my gosh, it is a abyss wolf ordinary demon. But this guy looks like a boss rank. He literally is on a mount of a wolf or something. He has level 38 and 12,000 strength and 10,000 agility. And his skills are roar attack and bite. This knight mentions it's trying to use her distress signal to attract more people. And Lin Mo Yu says it's that flying monster again. And it seems like that flying monster again. Well, you attracted the wrong people this time. The monster looks back and he says, finally more humans. But then he says, only level 26. And yeah, bro, underestimating Lin Mo Yu is going to be your worst downfall. He says a level 25 girl? What the heck are these? These are like lollipops. Anyway, we then see the other knights mentioning, how did a level 26 person come over here? Why are there professionals below level 30 in the battlefield? He says it's GG, bro. It's GG easy. And then the monster lets an attack, of course, towards our MC. But he protects Ning Yi Yi. As the monster says, I'm going to bite you one bite at a time and come on bro this guy just talks way too much he says go to hell as he is about to wreck him but um nope Lin Mo Yu's skeleton armor completely repels him off and then we see the slow curse surround this dude's body he says not good this is definitely a curse as we see him right here bound by our boy's chains we then see an image of a skeleton surrounding it and yup it's absolutely GG the knights are so happy now look at that they did a 180 degree turn after they find out that our boy is so strong they say it's the power of curses this is our chance to break through they then begin to attack and attack and of course they sweat as they say 
Finally, it's over, however they look up in the sky, and oh my gosh, the monster is still alive. And they wonder, that's an abyss wolf demon, right? What are those undead creatures? And why the heck can't the abyss wolf demon fight back? And it gets absolutely obliterated. He obtains a demon blood essence as well as 380,000 XP. He says, step back, I need to clear the scene. And they say, clean the battlefield, what are you talking about? And Ningyi Yu just waves her hand saying, come on, you guys will get hurt or incinerated. But um, yeah, you guys might want to come with me. He says those devourers can't be killed with just a few attacks. But her MC just stands there like an absolute Sigma male and corpse explosion and yep all of them just get literally obliterated into pieces we then see them all in their expressions like bro it's like Song Jin Woo when they found out he was an S class or the 10th S class of Korea and they say is this really the strength of a level 26 his summons are so powerful what is that class but Ning Yi says with a smile on her face I'm already a six star private and oh my gosh this girl's literally just getting carried by our MC we hear if I want to improve my military rank I need abyss monsters of higher rarity and level. And yeah, Lin Mo Yu definitely needs to go to the ultimate hell dungeon for level 50s or something. We then hear brother, and it is the night from earlier, and he says thank you so much for your help. Because of you, we were able to get out of this mess. He says this was embarrassing because we are the demon hunting team. And then to the right, the dude says this is a sundere, we don't know there would be a demon sneaking in. He says and explains that the abyss is divided into regions, we see the deep region, the middle region, as well as a surface region. Battlefields 1-3 to three correspond to the surface region and of course below that well those are the more powerful people as you see a literal wall here like a wall of china and we see them walking on it dude explains that only some weaker demons can sneak in easily but no matter how weak that demon is it's not something a normal fighter can deal with and abyssal demons are the same as them which are level 40 being their dividing line as you see a scary shadow right here but that's exactly what our mc wants he scratches his head and he says now we see the dangers we can't go and wander around but their mc says Wait, wait, he begins to think. More demons? Stronger demons? Well, where the heck is it? He then says, are you really going there? And he says, yup. And the dude says, as our boy Lin Mo Yu and Ning Yi begin to walk further in, is this what a true genius is like? And absolutely, bro, that's exactly what an MC protagonist is with a level up system. And oh gosh, I just wish I had my own system. Anyway, Ning Yi mentions that it looks like they aren't far away from the target. And they say, so this is the abyss. We then see a pair of Sharingans looking down on them from the walls. And Ning Yi begins kind of, gets kind of scared, but even our MC looks kind of nervous. And of course, we see something jump up. Up right above them as they look up into this purple forbidden sky and wow it is another abyssal demon however it doesn't seem to go and attack them it just comes crashing to the ground and they begin to wonder if it is dead they then say it's a silver level and this looks like an assassin of some sorts because he's wearing a cloak and he's even wearing a mask he says that this is an assassin that is already over level 40 and he says it looks like they come to the right place because he was able to instantly kill a level 38 abyssal demon our MC says to Ning Yi Yi as she nods, we can't let them beat us. And so, the race begins. Our MC begins to fight these monsters as well as Ning Yi Yi, and she says that these monsters have been killed by them for an hour, and not even one demon has showed up. And she says there's no way those assassins got to them before us. We then hear a screech in the distance, and they both turn their heads, saying, what is it this time? And we see something in the air that looks very ominous and purple, and we see a hand coming here, and we see Song Jin Wu's dagger come to the ground just kidding guys but he mentions that this is the assassin's dagger and that assassin just pretty much died to this monster we then see this purple monster right here it looks like an unevolved dragon and he says how high leveled is this monster for him or for the assassin to die so easily this is a shadow demon which is a level 40 and look at this dude's strats it's absolutely scary and his ability as well he's able to see through invisibility and he only receives half of your damage our mc mentions that this dude is way too strong he says this is not much worse than the Elemental Queen. And so, this guy mentions as he yells out, a little brat dares to challenge a level 26. Come here, you're an extra meal. Come on bro, you're about to be get eaten. Anyway, they then begin to rush towards our MC and I noticed that the one mistake that you could make in this manhwa is to rush towards the MC who was like 10 times stronger than you. <laughs> but anyway, our MC puts up his armor and oh my gosh, it is GG. Look at our MC's face. He says you want to fight together? That won't happen. And yeah, you definitely challenged the wrong person to a dogfight because yo, 
he has like a hundred thousand summons but anyway they then mentioned dang you boy and he uses shadow to run away however our mc uses his slow curse and yeah this monster should well, it's not gonna matter if he learns his lessons because he's gonna be dead. Anyway, we then see the skeletons in berserk mode slashing up these people, and he has already received or he already has silver level skeleton warriors, and look at their strength guys, it's 7k, all of it is pretty much 7k, and these dudes are getting way stronger. Our MC mentions that the physical damage gets halved, so the skeleton warrior cannot kill it as quickly, and so he says, Alright then, alright then, it's time to summon up my mages. He then has his lightning mage, his ice mage, as well as his fire mage. These are the terrific trio. And he smiles, saying, let's use spells to deal with you. And of course, the monster thinks that he has a chance, and he yells out, die. And he uses entanglement, and he tries to take over our MC skeletons. And he says, this curse won't affect me at all. However, we then see an explosion, kaboom, and this dude gets literally struck, and it seems like he left our skeleton corpse. He mentions that actually worked on me. Children, come help. Our MC says, are you looking for your children? And we literally see the bodies of their demon, of his demon kind. And yeah, they had to censor this out. Thank you so much. And Ningyi mentions those little demons were so hard to kill. And it seems like she was being useful and she isn't just like Sakura. Um, no offense to Sakura. Or maybe I did. Anyway, we then see the demon begin to disappear. And of course, he says, let me give them back to you as he sends them flying towards this dude. And oh my gosh, corpse explosion. And he kills a level 40 abyss demon. And he receives 800,000 XP as well as 500 military merit, guys. 500 is quite a lot. We also see Ning Yi Yi has been promoted to a second lieutenant. And she's so happy. But her MC mentions you need 10,000 military merits to earn one star. And oh my gosh, this Ning Yi Yi better give our boy like a lot of gemstones or just give him like an OP weapon now. She then mentions you haven't been promoted yet and she says don't worry I heard there is a dungeon nearby and should we take a look. We then see them walking and then we switch back to Lord Bai as well as Meng and Wen and Meng and Wen says why did you send him to the elemental secret realm and Lord Bai says what do you mean I just wanted to see how far he can go. He says that 10,000s of hellhounds will be destroyed instantly because he can even he can even clear the hell difficulty on his own and he says come to think of it that secret realm won't stop him either. Meng Anwen says, What do you mean? What level is that elemental spirit realm or se secret realm and what about those dungeons? He says the skills of the elemental queen could be compared to a level 40 higher demon. It's not like you know how strong he is. And yeah, guys, let me know. Uh, you know, this dude's just like Sung Jin Woo, so don't ever try to put a limit on him. He then says the boy has a lot of skeletons, but, he, but the queen is not afraid of group fights. And Lord Bai says, it's fine, if he can't escape, he can still win. Or sorry, he can he can still escape if he can't win, but that won't be necessary. Lord Bai mentions, there is still the brand of Hero's Temple, so he won't die. And only in that secret realm, he also asked him to go to the third battlefield's abyss boundary and kill demons and rise in rank. But then Meng and Wen gets absolutely shocked by this as he stands up and gets out of his seat. And he says, did you forget something? something and Lord Bai says what do you mean bro he says the old man Ning's precious granddaughter is there with him and she doesn't have the brand so if she dies that old man will come for you as we see the silhouette of oh my gosh it's Ning Yi Yi's grandfather right behind him and then he says as he puts his hand on Lord Bai's shoulder who died what are you guys talking about and then oh my gosh he asks Lord Bai did you send Lin Mo Yu to do his mission and he says oh yeah I did I sent him to the elemental battlefield Field. And he mentions, don't worry, with Lin Mo Yu there, your granddaughter will be safe. He then says, if something happens to my granddaughter, I will be coming to settle you with this. And oh, yeah, don't worry, bro. Lin Mo Yu's got him. And Meng Anwen mentions, you survived for today, Meng Anwen. And of course, or sorry, you survived for today, Lord Bai. And he chuckles. And this dude seems pretty chill. Like, come on, all the old dudes in Manwa or anime are definitely chill and OP. Anyway, they arrive at the boundary of the third battlefield. And we see a lot of ominous eyes looking down from them from the sky. And he says, did these demons sneak into the battlefield from before? And oh my gosh, we see a lot of rats, we see lizards, serpents, and a flying abyssal demon just in the sky. And they yell, look at these delicious humans, let's go and have our feast. However, our boy uses his mage elemental spells and they all get wiped out in an instant. They say, shameless human, who the heck has tricked us? And yeah, the only one that's been tricked here is Lin Mo Yu because you guys are way too weak. He then uses his slow curse on them and they wonder what the heck this is. And 
they're also confused why the undead summons are there, and they all pierce them in the body, corpse explosion, and he kills a lot of these level 37 abyss snake demons and such, and he gets 50 merit and 370,000 XP. And our MC mentions a temporary access road between demons and the human realm. What a great, what a great place for me to just farm XP. And we see more demons coming out of this gate, and he just throws the corpses inside, and yeah, corpse explosion. And before they can even load into the Manwa, they just get exploded. And I'm guessing they're tired, so you know they just wanted to not draw those demons. Anyway, he then begins to collect the power, and he says, "I was trying it out, but it didn't seem to be so effective." And he got 3,000 military merit. He says that this means there's a huge amount of demons trying to come from the entrance, as you see an image of them, and these look much scarier than the ones that went in previously. They are then keeping an eye on them, and our girl Ningyi Yi mentions so much military merit, and her MC says, wait a while for the demons to gather, then I'll use my explosion skill. He then says, now, and oh my gosh, he throws in more corpses, and he gets a lot of military merit as well, and yes, he has obtained the zero star second lieutenant, and she says farming merits here is way too fast, and Ningyi he is also a zero star lieutenant, lieutenant or zero star second lieutenant as well. We then hear the access way is closing, what a pity, as we see this huge purple portal begin to close off on its own, and he mentions looks like the corpse explosions have definitely overwhelmed this gate. However, it is stabilized now, and he mentions looks like we can raise our level to one star second lieutenant. However, he gets absolutely shocked, and he brings Ning Yi Yi out of the way. And we hear a voice saying, Lin Mo Yu, I finally caught you. And it seems to attack their mind and their fortitude of their mental health or something. And they begin to stress out. He says, I'll kill you now, Lin Mo Yu. And we see these red Kamehamehas going towards our MC. And he gets really nervous, saying that he can't dodge it. He then gets pierced. Oh no, our MC finally took damage. However, he uses damage transfer, which was such a close call. And he starts to lose the skeletons in a flash. He says that they're dropping like crazy. And he goes, from 240 all the way to 186. He says I know what to do. We then see that it continues to decrease, however he uses corpse explosion a bunch of times and this eye is still yelling out for Lin Mo Yu. He says this is the right choice, this time the pathway won't be able to remain open and this eye is absolutely pissed saying, I will never let you live, I will definitely take your body. And I don't know what that means, but let's just think of it like he wants to devour Lin Mo Yu. Lin Mo Yu is just sitting down on the ground because, you know, MCs just find a way to look the best even though they're in the middle of battle. And he says, good time, or sorry, goodbye, next time I'll definitely make sure you explode into pieces. And yep, the monster then disappears into thin air, and our boy stands up saying, I lost a few skeleton warriors, but that's pretty much all there is to it. And he says, let's leave now. And of course, it's time to level up even more. He says, Flame Demon King, which I'm guessing was a person who attacked him. He said, we will meet in the abyss one day. And he probably literally meant one day because our boy is definitely going to solo level, just kidding, he's going to solo clear these dungeons in an absolute flash and speedrun it. And they arrive at the third battlefield world, the level 30 dungeon. And the requirement or the requirement for entering is level 25 to 35. And we see it right here, there are some people here and it looks pretty majestic with some floating rocks and castles and such. Our MC says, I wonder how a dungeon with three powers combined together will be like this. And so he brings out the system and we see it right here, of course the entry requirements at level 25 and such. Normal difficulty is a recommended party 4, nightmare party of 6, and hell party of 12. And our MC mentions all of his skeletons have recovered and so there aren't many high level professionals here so he doesn't think that he needs to be wary of demons ambushing him. He then tells Ning Yi, come on let's go. And then somebody behind them says hey you youngsters that's a level 30 dungeon. He says the monsters inside are very dangerous and even if, it, even, even if it's normal difficulty sorry about that guys he says you can be dealt with because because you're only level 26. He says it's better to go and find a party, but then we then see that they're actually going to the hell difficulty, and he smiles with Ning Yi Yi as he mentions, thank you, but you don't need to worry about this. The guy then says they can be so suicidal. He says, why are you sighing for? Did you not see their military badge? He says their badges are silver in color, which means that they are lieutenants and have killed demons before. He says, no way, they're level 26. And the guy mentions, impossible, haven't you heard of it? On the first battlefield, an 8-year-old level 24 lieutenant appeared.
And I don't know if they're talking about 8 or 18, but hey, that sounds pretty cool. Anyway, they are now on top of this cliff of a mountain, and they are looking down at this blood river saying, a dungeon with three powers combined together, huh? And they are then taken aback because they spotted something very eerie. Yup, it is a battle. We then see it. It's like, it's like Song Jin Wu's army is purple, and then the other one is like the flame dragon's army. But anyway, he says something is wrong. They're all phantom shadows, including those abyss demons. We hear the word restrict, and oh my gosh, we see a bunch of legendary warriors descend, and they begin to use forbidden curse, elemental destruction, and they send out this huge attack from above, and they then burn all these creatures. And this demon is standing above all of them, and oh my gosh, he then has the elemental powers as well, and we see a huge explosion that even Lin Mo Yu and Ning Yi Yi have to cover their eyes for. Ning Yi is absolutely shocked, and she says they're all gone. He says, is this the origin of the elemental planes? And I wonder if that was just a flashback probably was, however Ning Yi mentions the ancient battle of forbidden curses and elemental powers colliding. He says, I think so, but I'm afraid that this is literally just a tip of the iceberg. He says, come on, let's go down, as they begin to walk down the stairs, and I was wondering how they got on top of that cliff. Anyway, they seem to be ready to battle as he puts up his skeleton summons. We see a level 34 battle wolf demon, and this dude looks pretty cute. Oh my gosh, if this guy wasn't evil, he would definitely be a little cute cub or something. We then see his strength is 15k and the rest are 10k as well and he's influenced by the abyss and so of course his strength and his health have increased. He then charges through Lin Mo Yu's attacks and he says it's still alive, is this because of the abyss influence and the abyss power up? He says don't worry it's only, it's only buffed in defense and health and this should be fine if I attack him with a few more shots. He then gets 700,000 xp, 680,000 to be exact and he says that this monster is made from abyss powers and oh gosh it seems like Ningi he caught on saying it seems like you can't use corpse explosion anymore and he says with this dude this is the he always has his hands in his pocket and he just says i'll deal with them just why one by one and yeah our mc really is just him we then see ningyi use her assassin's light eyes and she says i'm an i am a master of the night and i'll help you find the monsters and we see that he is attacking them one by one even using slow curse chain to bind them he says here too and here too and then of course ningyi mentions is this really hell difficulty this is way too is easy, but our MC says there's something that is definitely wrong. We then see they begin to level up very easily, and we see that he is now level 27, and his strength is still 500 in the mid 500s, but his spirit is 2700, and it's about to hit 6000. And we see Ning Yi is also a level 26, and Lin Mo Yu is definitely leveling up way too fast. She says, "Is this really hell difficulty?" And Lin Mo Yu looks at the corpse of the demon, and he says, "Some of the abyss energy is being absorbed when the abyss monsters die, right?" And we see that the statue is the one absorbing it. He then says, "Looks like the boss will appear once the statue absorbs enough abyss energy." And please don't tell me this is gonna be like Song Jin Wu, but. Thankfully, our MC is definitely OP as of now, and it's not like Sung Jin Woo when he was weak. Our MC lets out an attack, and he tries to block the attack of these wolves coming at him, and then we see some ominous purple aura come and, and sounds as well come out of the castle. Our MC says, as expected, it's not too different from the boss in the outpost dungeon, and yes, it is an element leopard king, and this dude is so huge, I'm gonna I'm put an arrow on where Lin Mo Yu and Ning Yi Yi are. He's a level 36, 15k for strength, agility, and spirit, and physique. And his unique characteristic is that he's super fast and he has a lot of health and defense. He then lets out a leopard's roar and tries to snatch our boy and scratch him, but they then take a step back like they're dancing. But Lin Mo Yu says with his eyes, with the term his eyes are filled with determination. Thank God I have skeleton armor because his dudes are really moving at the speed of sound. He then uses evocation and he tells the other people to retreat. And the people he's telling to retreat is of course Ning Yi Yi as well as his summons. We then see he brings out the outpost guardian let's go guys and this dude it has the same stats as the monster and he says i'll slow you down first as he uses slow curse the general summon launches towards the leopard and of course he tries to attack it mentioning that as expected the strength attributes are the same and the leopard king boss can't resist the guardian of the outpost dungeon we then see a slice on the leopard's arm or its leg technically and it lets out some purple blood and he says so that's how it is huh and so he tells all his soldiers to attack a sap and they then begin to charge at him but the leopard begins to fight back as well we then see a lot of them and they are ready to use rage strike and kaboom he says i didn't expect that this time the outpost guardian would be used to stun while my skeletons deal the damage 
We then hear the leopard uses elemental explosion and oh my gosh the leopard shrinks and he says so the elemental leopard king is not an abyss monster. He says it is a monster with a body that's made from pure energetic energy and as long as its energy can be depleted it can be eliminated. We then see it uses elemental wipe as it lets out a meteor to combat our MC's attack and skadoosh oh yes it gets sliced on its body and he kills it getting 2.16 million XP and he also ob obtains an elemental specter which is kind of cool it gives him spirit plus 600 physique 200 or 400 and it also gives his mage skills plus 22 enhancement which is going to be very useful he wonders if it's over and he says something's wrong is this really hell difficulty it's even more easier wait is that even right grammar <laughs> it's even easier than the outpost dungeon but Ningyi Yi at that exact second points up to the sky saying Lin Mo Yu look and there's somebody right there and this dude looks like a mime or a mage a combination of it and he says come to me and we find out that this dude is speaking right into Lin Mo Yu's mind he then tells Ning Yi to stay back and wait there and he goes up the stairs and this guy says to kill him and I wonder what exactly this dude's problem is or I wonder what's his backstory hey guys what's up thank you guys so much for watching the video make sure to comment down element if you made it all the way this far and don't forget to check out the these are the recaps if you want to watch some cool things as well. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next recap and make sure to have a great day.